We're cooking it up in here. Look at that. It is wonderful. Oh, they're so, so pretty. Oof, what scrumptious. Everybody, I'm Vera Stewart, and welcome to the Very Vera Show. Guess what? We made it! Season 10. I cannot believe it. And you know, it's because of all of you, our loyal fans, who have been watching the show every weekend. You've been sharing it with friends. You've been making the recipes I show you how to make each week and sharing them with everybody, saying, I got that from the Very Vera Show. It's why we have made this milestone. So I can't thank you all enough. I'm so thrilled. Never dreamed I would get to this point. So we've got a lot to celebrate today. You know, this time of year, it's so hot outside, I thought that I would do lemons. And so I'm doing two recipes today using lemons, but it's also in celebration of my mother's 104th birthday. If she had been with us, that's how old she would have been this week. And you know, I dedicated the cookbook to her. So these are two recipes from the book that are just scrumptious. So we're gonna start with the lemon layer cake. You know, it's a very light, refreshing, beautifully presented cake. And it's certainly gonna be something you wanna have on the table this month. And then a lemon basil pasta salad. Those two things, lemon and basil together, are so good. And with Labor Day coming up and tailgating, you're gonna want this to be your new go-to salad. And in Vera's Corner, you know, we all love a refreshing glass of lemonade. There's nothing better. I'm gonna give you a tip on how to make that go quick. So I'm at the cottage today, so let's go inside. I'll put my apron on and we'll get started on that lemon layer cake. All right, the lemon layer cake is one of the most popular cakes in the cookbook. But you know, honestly, it wasn't that popular when we were in the retail business because you had carrot and red velvet and all these other wonderful flavors. And it was like lemon was the stepchild. Well, then in 2011, Southern Living Magazine decided to write about the lemon layer cake. And it was a beautiful feature, but you know, it wasn't really that big. And I thought, you know, that's, that's great. And we got so much feedback from that piece that they wrote about us. I was so thrilled. And you know, that was 10 years ago. And here we go again with 10. 10th season, 10 years ago, this was featured in Southern Living. And it speaks to the cookbook in the fact that a lot of the recipes were famous before you ever knew the recipe, which is very much the opposite of a normal cookbook. You've got a recipe that becomes famous because it got written up in a cookbook. Well, this had already been featured in a couple of magazines. So 2011 with this in Southern Living. And then very recently, I was featured again in Southern Living with their In Her Shoes article that is just amazing. And then Coastal Living Magazine also did a piece on us in 2006. That was a very beautiful article as well. So the lemon layer cake has had a little bit of publicity. I love that. So I've been busy getting this ready. So let me kind of go over with you what I did. So first and foremost, when you're going to make any of our cakes in the book, you always want your ingredients to be at room temperature. So all the ingredients were at room temperature. Then I preheated my oven to 400 degrees. I prepared three nine inch cake pans. And the way you do that is you either use the parchment circles that are already cut out, or you can cut those yourself with wax paper. And then I, I love to use Baker's Joy for my pans. And I always do that over the sink because it sprays all over the place. So I've sprayed the sides and the bottom, even with the parchment paper, with the Baker's Joy. Then I've creamed my room temperature butter and sugar. Once it's incorporated, then you're gonna turn your timer on for five minutes. Then after the five minutes is up, you wanna scrape the sides and then start adding your eggs one at a time. And I love to use fresh market eggs. So once I've gotten those combined, then you wanna scrape down again. And then you're gonna combine all of your dry ingredients. In this case, it's cake flour, baking powder, and salt. And then your liquid ingredients, milk, vanilla extract, and lemon extract. And put that in a measuring cup and just whisk that with a fork. Then with the mixer on low, I'm gonna add in my dry ingredients. And I, I love to use like a third of a cup measuring cup, just so the flour doesn't go everywhere. And then alternate your wet ingredients. So start with dry and end with wet. 
and then you're gonna beat that on low for seven minutes. And the reason I'm showing you my timer on my phone is it very important to go by these minutes amounts. You know, a lot of recipes will say cream until creamy or fluffy or whatever, and you don't really know what that is. So these times give you that capacity to make it just right. All right, so I've zested my lemon. So this is where I am. I've gotten all those steps done, and just look at this batter. And it almost resembles pancake batter. All right, so I'm going to add in my lemon zest that I did with my microplane. And I love to do this away from the beater just so it incorporates and, you know, actually doesn't stick to the sides and to the paddle. All right, and you see it makes quite a bit. So now we're gonna divide this between the three pans. So I'll start by just a pour. Oh, it's so fluffy and pretty and it smells so good. All right, then you go back and see if you can even it up. So cooking these at 400 degrees is also part of the secret to why this fluffs up so pretty. So I'll finish getting these in the pan and get these chopped down so that we won't have a lot of air bubbles in it. And then we're going to be taking these after they've come out of the oven and putting them in the freezer. We'll talk about that when we come back from the break. And we'll also be making the pasta salad. But before we go to break, I want to share with you some of my favorite memories from seasons one through three. So come back with us in just a few minutes. Hey, I'm Vera Stewart, and I'd like to welcome you to The Very Vera Show. I'm still having a hard time saying that myself because I'm so excited. I'm so glad you decided to join me tonight. Are you hungry? Well, you're certainly going to be by the time we get through tonight. Hey, Joe. Oh, hey, Miss Vera. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Great. I'm great. always so glad to see you, Joe. Yeah. You're always so helpful when I'm in here. And I love it when I've got a recipe that's going to use something in the produce department. Oh. Welcome back, everybody, and if you're just joining me, you are with me for my first show of season 10. I'm so excited about it, and we are just loving everything lemons today. We're also celebrating the cookbook and the fact that my mother would have been 104 years old if she was still with us at the end of this month. All right, so we're making the lemon basil pasta salad. This is an awesome side dish this time of year, whether it's for Labor Day weekend coming up, or tailgating this fall, I think you're gonna really love this recipe. All right, so we had a little bit that we had to do ahead to get ready for this. So I've cooked the pasta according to the package directions. So you get your water boiling. I added in some oil and salt, and you're gonna cook it for about seven to eight minutes. Just let it get just good and moist and tender. And then drain that in the sink in a colander and rinse it off so it won't stick together. And then I've squeezed some lemons, and I love this little gadget that does that for me. You know, I'm usually standing there squeezing it, but this gadget, you can find it on Amazon, is just perfect for squeezing lemons. So I've got that done. And then the handy thing about this is saving what you've cut into a Ziploc bag, because I'm also gonna be sauteing some shrimp in a few minutes, and you get that shrimpy smell on your fingers. If you've got a bag of lemons in the refrigerator, you can always just use those to get that off. And then once you're finished with it, just throw that lemon in the disposal, and then that your sink smells good. So there are lots of uses for lemons. All right, so now sauteing the shrimp. I love to use my Tony Satchery seasoning. I've got my cast iron lodge on top of the stove and I've put butter, put the shrimp in there and just really sauteed that around and gotten that nice and tender and just add a little bit of Tony's to that. I'm gonna top this salad with that to make it into an entree. All right, so now we're going to get started on the salad itself. I've got my pasta all ready to go. I'm gonna add into that some green peas, some ripe olives that have been sliced. See how colorful this is? Some diced red peppers. And you know, I'm not a fan of bell pepper, the green ones, so I really, I love this. 
and then just some cut up spring onion. A little bit of salt and pepper. And then we've got a great dressing that goes on this. So now I've got Hellman's mayonnaise. I'm gonna add to that the lemon that we squeezed. And this is diced basil. And I'm telling you what, this is the best. It's just the best smell and it's just the best combination with this. And then I've got some minced garlic. All right, I'm just gonna blend this together and you're thinking, Vera, that is way too much dressing for this salad. And you're right, right at first. But one of the things that is nice about this recipe is you can make it ahead so that all of the ingredients will start blending together. And then right before you get ready to serve it, you put the other half of the dressing on there. So I will mix this together during the break, leave the rest of this right before I get ready to put it in the bowl. But in Vera's corner today, I'm gonna to share a secret for making lemonade concentrate so you can have lemonade just like that, not have to go to any trouble. And then we're gonna get started on icing that beautiful lemon layer that's coming out of the oven. You'll love that. Right now, I'm gonna show you some more moments from season four through six of The Very Vera Show. So come back with us in just a few minutes. So why don't we move into the kitchen and let's, I'm gonna race you, let's All go. Right. Let's go. What took you so long, Vera? <laughs> don't gun it. What could be a better Christmas present than for the very Vera Christmas show to feature Natalie oh, Dupree? Oh, I'm so excited Sweet girl. <laughs> to have you here. I'm ready for a siesta, but it's time for a fiesta and I've had the best time today. Vera's Corner is sponsored by Tax Slayer. It's your refund, go get it. You know, there's nothing quite as refreshing as homemade lemonade, but you know, it's time consuming to make. So today I'm gonna to give you a tip on how to make a concentrate so it'll be just like that. Begin by zesting two lemons. Using a peeler will give minimum pith, making the zest bitter enough to add complexity. Next, toss the zest in a bowl with sugar and salt and begin muddling them together. The flat edges of a potato masher will allow you to bruise the zest without tearing it. When the mixture becomes moist, it's ready to go. Add in boiling water and stir until the sugar is dissolved. Set aside the mixture until cooled, strain and remove the zest and set aside the remaining liquid. Next, juice three to five lemons. Stir the lemon juice into the zest mixture until combined. Your lemon concentrate is ready to go. Store this in the refrigerator to make a quick glass of lemonade by using equal parts concentrate to water. This mixture will keep for several weeks. Serve over ice and enjoy. I hope you enjoyed Vera's Corner today. I tell you, I love to do this. And just when I'm doing something like this, I've got a nice glass of lemonade to enjoy. Okay, so we got the cakes out of the oven. We let them cool on the cooling racks. Then I flipped them on to my sheet pans that I absolutely love. I talk about these to use for our bars, but they're the perfect way to get the best layer size so that you've got a nice, perfect layer cake to ice. So the way I do this is I take a serrated knife, if you've got one that's long enough to go all the way across, you're cutting a diagonal and just keep turning those layers until you've gotten all of the excess that's taller than the pan cut off. Well, for years, we used to throw that in the trash in our retail business. I'd find myself walking around eating it, but then we started putting it into Ziploc bags and if you came to purchase something at Berry Vera, that was your favorite when you left, was a bag of the cake crumbs, so I love that. Then once I've done that, I put that in the freezer because believe it or not, 
the best way to ice a layer cake is for the layers to be frozen. You don't have a lot of crumbs that are getting into your icing and it works out perfectly. All right, so we've done all of that. Let me talk to you about making the icing that's gonna go on to this cake. So again, room temperature ingredients, cream your butter and cream cheese for three minutes, then scrape your bowl, then add in your vanilla and lemon extracts and beat for another minute to two minutes. Then slowly add your confectioner's sugar, just like we did in the layer cake with one of your measuring cups, and then scrape the bowl again. Then I zested a lemon, a whole lemon, and I added that in to the icing after it had finished mixing. So you've got a really good incorporation. All right, so let me talk to you about this crumb coat. So all I'm trying to do here is just seal the cake. So I've got my frozen layers, these little cake circle boards you can order on Amazon to put the cake on. This can then go onto your cake stand. And these rim ribbons are reminiscent for anyone that used to order from us. That was how you got the cake out of the box, was lifting the ribbon. So I still like, I still like to do that. All right, so I put a little bit of icing on the cardboard, then put my first layer down, and you're gonna use about a half a cup of icing between each layer. And we got very technical about this, even though it was a hand iced cake, so that you would have a good amount of icing between each of the layers. Once you've done all three, then you start on your sides and, and just, you know, you're basically covering up the crumbs. So now at this point, I'm ready to start the finishing. And on the finishing, you want to just do one good smear one more time around the side. And then we're gonna finish that off. See, at that point, you really can't see the bleed through anymore. The last part of it that was so unique to us was the swirl that you did on it. All right, so I'm gonna finish this during the break. When we come back, I'm gonna talk to you about the only time of year that I put this, cake, this cookbook on sale for half price. So come back with me to get the code and we'll be getting everything wrapped up and ready to, for you to see. I've never been so starstruck with a guest on my show. <laughs> you always get me when you say that. Like, I'm not a star. I'm Big Swaggo. You Swaggo Jr. That's right, Swaggo Jr. We're That's family now. We are. One of the things that she has maybe unfortunately passed down to me is the look uh, that I've been known to give my employees when I'm not very happy about something, and it goes a little something like this. <laughs> Honestly, I could live on nuts. My children say I eat squirrel food, but I love everything that has nuts in it. Welcome back everybody. And you know, I'm still enjoying my lemonade and I have had the best time today. Celebrating season 10, celebrating my mother and celebrating these lemon recipes. Had the best time. You know, lots of people have commented about when you open up the cookbook, what you see is recipe cards. So I'm actually really fond of the Hester and Cook's line of recipe cards. And you know, oddly enough, I still write, hand write recipes. We use those as part of our show, so I love that. We've also used their plates today to present everything. So you'll see a lot of that hopefully this season. All right, so we did a lot of things today. We got the lemon layer cake done. Remember, the freezer is your friend, whether it's getting those layers ready or getting the cake frozen for future use. It can last in the freezer for up to six months. And then the pasta salad. Don't you love it in this wooden bowl, this kind of a barky bowl? I love that look with the sterling silver. And as I said, I always put a twist on my, even my own recipes. And for this one, I decided to make it into an entree. So we've got the shrimp on top, the sauteed shrimp. So that's a meal in itself with the vegetables that go with that. All right, so the cookbook is the star of the show today. And I worked with Peter Frank Edwards out of Charleston, South Carolina, and he is amazing. We had the best time working together. He's quite a character, and obviously that was demonstrated in his bringing out the personality, not only of our recipes, but also of me and the story behind the Very Vera Cookbook. So once a year, I put this book on sale. And it's in honor of my mother, who the book, 
I dedicated the book to. You know, she has so much to do with where I am today as raising five children all by herself as a widow at the age of 40. So as the middle of five, I love to celebrate what she brought to my character and my personality. So this is what we want you to do. We want you to go to verivera.com and click on cookbook. And we're gonna have a code, Betty104. That's Betty104, which will be the code that you will use to get 50% off. So take advantage of this right now for holidays coming up and all the things. I'm happy to personalize the book for you as well, and it'll ship out right away. This sale will last through um, Tuesday the 31st, which actually August 31st would have been her actual birthday. All right, so I also want to welcome in some of our new markets. We've just gotten in Charlotte, North Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina, Evansville, Indiana, and Rochester, Minnesota. So welcome to all of you. You join a lot of other fans that have really enjoyed the show. I hope you'll tune in every week. And you know, as I always say on the Very Vera Show, no matter what you do, do it in good taste. Please come back and join me next week. Happy season 10.